Guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We are at Sablador Golf Club here in France. And I have a little what's in the bag for you. James Urquhart has been on the channel a number of times now. He's the head coach at Torquay. I've brought him out for a couple of course vlogs. I've taken him over to France this week. So I thought we would do a little what's in the bag with James. Let's go and meet up with him over on the fairway. Well, that is a lovely golf bag. How'd you like that? I really like that, James, actually. It's very nice, isn't it? It's very nice. And we've had lots of requests from people that want to know what is going on in your golf bag. What's in Coach James's bag? What is in Coach James's golf bag? So let's start. And I want to start in the wedges. You want to start in the wedges? I want to start in the wedges because I think your... Start with the most loft. Your game, your wedge game, certainly in the vlogs that you've been playing in, I think is very, very tidy. I think the technique is really good. Um, and I know you've had a little play with lots of different wedges because you've had a few different ones over the years. But yeah, um, you found a little little batch of wedges now that you, uh, you seem loving. quite happy with. Yeah. So what are your wedges in the bag then, James? So I've got the uh, Vokey SM8s. SM8, yeah. We'll start with the uh, 60. 60, yeah. Which is in wedge, uh, just standard wedge flex. Okay. Uh, standard grip. Which standard wedge flex is length. like an S200, isn't it? It's like an S200, yeah. Yeah. Um, and got a lovely little stamping on them. Have you got stamping initials, yeah. all the way through? So J, yeah, 60, 60, 54, and 48. Okay. And I went with slightly different bounces in each one because I kind of want each wedge to do something slightly different for Absolutely, me. Absolutely, which is important. Yeah. Uh, depending on the length, depending on the lie yes. of the shot. Um, this one here is, the only difference between this and a, and a standard one is this is three degrees flat. Oh, okay. Um, which is slightly different to my other two wedges. They're two degrees flat. Um, and the reason for the difference is, as some of the viewers may know, as the loft goes up, then face blade tilt starts to change it if you're lies slightly out okay so the more loft me and benny boy changed it up so that i was slightly flatter in the 60. so ben being from titleist yeah ben hiscott yeah so lie um lie wise you're three degrees flat but but yep. what's the bounce on that one so that is an s bounce, grind it's an s grind steve Stricker grind yeah 10 yeah. degrees of bounce okay um and we just found just hitting shots me playing and ben would do it yeah we were just playing around with ball flights yeah uh, and we just found I controlled like the bounce and the loft on this one really nicely, kind of got it gripping nicely and coming yeah. in with a nice ball flight. So I went with the S-grind and to be honest with you... You don't, um, you don't really play that full shots, do you? No. So you're just doing little flicky shots around yeah. the green. Yeah, so exactly, like, yeah. You get yeah, yeah, I wouldn't jail club. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, would, I, I kind of hit... Um, little flicky flop shots around the green, which I feel quite bunkers? comfortable with. Are you in the bunkers? Bunkers, yeah, yeah. Like most of the time yeah. in the bunkers? Um, yeah. I would tend to use this from a typically slightly shorter range um, bunker shot, as you could imagine. But yeah. the way I play bunkers is um, I will use all of my wedges in a, in, in a bunker. It just yeah. all depends on the distance that I am. So if I sort of start to get about more than 20 yards out, yeah, more than 20 yards out, I would start to go into the 54. Yeah. So I start to get sort of 30, 35 yards out, I would start to go to the 48. Okay. And then just looking at the other two wedges that you've got in the bag there, you've yep. got, like you said, you've got a 54 and a 48. Yep. Now let's start with just the 54. What bounce have you got in there? 54 is 14 degrees of bounce. Yeah, it's the F grind. Um, yeah, the F grind, yeah. Which and is like full grind. Yeah, and I quite like this club as a go-to um, if I'm playing a uh, linksy style golf course which quite often has quite a lot of sand in the bunkers yeah um kind of thinking like a dawlish warren where you see a lot of deep sand i want something with a maximum amount of bounce which even if i'm getting the uh, club releasing under it and really trying to kind of almost shallow out um my my swing to not to not get it to dig this is this is the club that i would be going to this is the club i feel most confident with and what's interesting gonna... is that you know, a lot of people, certainly over the years that I've talked to, say that, oh, I don't want too much bounce, don't want too much bounce. But actually, I've always found more bounce is You can fill your friend. boots, yeah, you can fill your boots with bounce. The, um, the only time bounce isn't going to be your friend is when you're on rock hard, compact sand, mm. um, which most people play that wrong anyway. Um, 
where if you're sort of 10, 15 yards away and you're in compact sand, I would be squaring up the face, definitely not opening, opening the club face up yeah. and hitting a, hitting a, you know, a smaller swing, less speed, almost chipping it out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and just, it's, it's not going to have as much spin, obviously, but it's the way to play it. Because as soon as you start opening up that club face and using loads of bounce in a more compact, more compact sand, it's going to... And then 48 then. Yep, 48. Double tee potting, right? Double tee potting, yeah, yeah, as per usual. Uh, 48, you've got. Um, um, why the 48? You know, you because I, I, I've I've spotted, and we'll come to it in a minute, but I have spotted a pitching wedge in your bag. So what, yeah. what's going on with the 48 here? Yeah, so the 48 is just for gapping purposes. Yes. Um, I, I personally love um, a, a higher lofted wedge in the Vokey as well. I yeah. feel more comfortable set up over this than I would be a pitching wedge in a standard set, if that makes okay. sense. So a, I love, like I love the, the way lower, it lies. lower lofted Vokey. Yeah, 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 I love the way it lies and I, I love just using it just to chip around the greens with rather than a pitching wedge. Yeah. Um, and we'll speak about that in a minute in my yeah. irons, but the gapping does work out nicely. So two degrees flat in both of those. Two degrees flat in both standard, of those, Standard, yeah. and all the grips look pretty standard to Everything me as well. standard, yeah. Okay, um, let's move into the actual irons then. So okay, we have got, uh, we move out of Titleist. Yep. And go we to go into Cobras. King Forged. So the King MBs. Forged MB irons. So yeah, we'll go the nut. Um, black yeah, so finish, lovely finish. All in black. Yeah, yeah. had these for. I'm not quite like uh, Lee Whisker Golf. I don't change my clubs quite as frequently. Okay. And when I do, I usually get uh, Dan Hendrickson Golf to pay for them. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Been through that a few times, haven't we? Yeah. Um, the black head. Yeah. Do you like the black head? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think it's got a really nice finish. And what I like about these is, um, I've read up on a bit of the research about it. The the black the blacked finish that they used Cobra at the time, it was kind of like this gun metal finish. Yep. And the stuff that they were using was quite um, hard wearing, I guess would be the word. Yeah. Um, and this, these have been testament to that because I've used them quite a bit. And although they've been bashed up a little bit, they're still- In good you know, shape. They're still blackish. Yeah, okay. Um, which is quite nice. Shaft, that is a funky looking shaft. Yeah, yeah, Is that, AMT. Is that graphite? No. Not no. graphite, black. No. Yeah, black, steel, but black coated. steel, yeah. Yeah, okay. black brush steel. Um, AMT X100. Yeah. Um, which, to be honest with you, now I'm not playing as much golf, I could potentially go into a stiff shaft. Softer. I don't necessarily need the X yeah. um, anymore, which you'll see in a minute I've got in the other clubs. Okay. Um, but I still get along with these fine. Um, and and lie, lie on those? Lie on these throughout is one degree flat. One degree flat? Yeah, one degree flat. Okay, so yeah. you go three degrees, then two degrees, two and degrees then one, and degree one degree into the irons. Yeah. And then the grip on there I see is slightly different as well. Yeah, it's just the align grip. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, as long as, as long as it's as long as it's a standard size and it's not a mid size, I feel comfortable with pretty You're much happy anything. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't really bother. Yeah. The you. only grip I used previously, which, which I didn't like, was those uh, tour wraps. Tour I found they got a little bit slippery ones, yeah. in, the, in the. They wet. were lovely. They were lovely and tacky when it was dry. As yeah. soon as it got a bit wet, then they weren't so nice. But yeah, I like these. These are nice. Um, so that runs from pitching wedge. Which what's the loft pitching on wedge? The pitching wedge. Yeah. So that's interesting uh, question, Dan. So the loft on this pitching wedge has gone down from the standard yeah. uh, loft, which I haven't spoken about yet in these irons, which I actually did myself. Okay. Uh, Cobra didn't do. Yeah, you um, moved I, them. I tinkered with um, tinkered with spin numbers um, yeah. and just took and a. I, I took. Uh, I believe this one is usually forty five or forty six, and I took it down a degree or two. So this is at forty four. Okay, so it's quite strong. Yeah, it's a strong, it's a strong. And that measure. enabled you to get that gap right then with the yeah, perfect that you gapping. Put in. Yeah, I like it, and I do, I do like blades actually. Yeah, I do like the feel of blades, and similar to um, similar to what a lot of players would say, you do get a lot of feedback from blades. So I like that. And that moves them from pitching wedge right the way up to the four iron. Yeah, pitching wedge three to four iron. Yeah, set. yeah, okay, and. Uh, yeah, the four iron is. I mean, I must admit, when you look down at that, it's it's beautiful, but it, it is a little. It's tiny. A little small to look down it at. It is yeah. tiny. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, um, that's probably not massively different to my my MBs in the Titleist, but because of that similar. black finish, maybe it gives yeah. it a smaller sort of profile look. It does. Looking down on it, yeah, I found that, but it is an optical illusion because I believe we did actually check that. Did we? we put them up against each other, and they were the same. Literally the same. Yeah, they were the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it does, when you look down at it, it does look a little small, <laughs> especially when you haven't been playing much. And you have uh, recently updated your woods, haven't you? Your, your I have, head yeah. cover range has had, yeah. had, a, had a refreshing yes, up. Yes, it has. Yeah, you helped me out with that, didn't you? Um, and there's some special... We'll start with the rescue, shall we? Yeah, let's do the rescue, yeah. Um, so TS, TSI, TSI 2. TSI 2 in all of the woods. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
I don't spin the ball a lot. Okay. Um, for my, I've got a reasonable amount of swing speed, but I, I tend to, um, I tend to lack a little bit of spin. I launch the ball quite low. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've got a 21 degree hybrid and I would even consider, uh, maybe switching it in and out, but having something like a 24 degree hybrid and swapping the four iron in and out. Um, it's just a little more forgiving. And I find as I'm getting older, my swing speed does seem to be dropping, slightly. dropping a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But the facts are you don't play a lot of golf. So I, don't I think if you competed a bit more, then maybe you'd give yourself that option. But yeah, at the moment, yeah. what's the point in spending the money on something that you might not use really? Correct. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. So we've got 20, 21 degree. Yeah, I love this club. I've only used it a few times, really. Yeah, it's on, brand on new. This, yeah. yeah, on this vlog. Uh, um, what's it set up as? A1. A1. All, of, all of my clubs are set up on A1. So all standard. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely standard. I'm uh, I'm one of those players, obviously, from a coaching perspective, I'm, I'm more of a coach uh, than, a, than a fitter. Yeah. Um, I kind of believe, especially for someone like me who doesn't have any real injuries, I've got a bad back, but it doesn't affect the ability for me to swing the golf club. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big believer in me working on my game to get to a place rather than altering the club to change that. Um, so I, I find A1 works perfectly fine. If I'm hitting it slightly left or slightly right, I'll just make a few adjustments in my swing. Yeah, my yeah, swing absolutely. on my rhythm and tempo and away we go. Yeah. Um, shaft. Yeah, the shaft. What, this is an interesting there, one. So yeah, very so orange, very Jordan Spieth looking. Jordan Spieth. It is Jordan Spieth looking. And I think it is actually the one he uses, but maybe he uses the X. I'm not entirely sure okay. about that. So um, graphite design, Tor AD, yeah. DI85, it's the hybrid and it's in a stiff flex. That's right, absolutely. So 85 yeah. grams. Yeah, so interestingly, uh, I don't know whether you'll remember, but when you got me the uh, 917s, yeah. um, they had this shaft in, but with X, and yeah. I was swinging it a lot faster. A lot then, faster then. Um, and hitting it higher, I would say, as well. But uh, I just, I love these shafts and I probably hit my woods the best. And I don't know whether that correlates with the fact that I was playing more golf as an assistant yeah. a little bit more back then. Um, but I used to love, love this shaft. Uh, felt really good. Went down to St. Ives or yeah. went up to St. Ives, shall I say. Went up to St. Ives in uh, Titleist. Titleist Fitting Centre um, and got them fitted. And I did the same with Benny Boy and these came out the best. So okay. it wasn't just that they had a big price tag on them. I liked them. So. And then coming away from the hybrid, we move into a, a fairway wood. A fairway wood, yeah. Which is fairway also Titleist TSI, and you said it's the number two as well. Yes, this one is TSI number two. And it's a 16 and a half, and so it's, it's actually like a, it's actually an a one. forward. It's really. forward, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it is a forward, yeah. Three. Same, Same shaft, shaft, but seven Tore instead of the eight, eight. Okay. which just is what, it's just for weighting purposes. Right. Um, and the reason why I like the 16 and a half is because I, this is something that I would hit off the tee, but it's also something that I hit off the floor as well. Yeah. Um, with my normal swing, the way I would comfortably swing it, I launch it very low. Yeah. So a 15 degree three would, wasn't really much of an option for me because my launch is so low. If I'm on GC quad and I'm hitting shots, it's, it's not the best option for me. So 16 and a half is perfect. But Talking about what you sort of talked about a minute ago with you being a coach and all of that, would you not look to try and change that? Adjust that, yeah. Um, or do you one, feel that you get a good thing, performance in what you're hitting? Yeah, I do. So, so one thing that I, uh, when I'm coaching, is that, yes, I like to change things with people, um, but I see uh, characteristics and faults, and I see this as a characteristic. So I yeah. see that as being an adjustment in equipment. So me delivering slightly less loft has always been a characteristic of mine. I hit the ball low I grew up playing a little bit on the Warren yeah linksy, um, linksy style golf um, so I I feel comfortable kind of getting my hands forward compressing the ball at impact and getting the ball going in low when uh, as you'll see on the on the, one of the course vlogs we've done a little bit of work on uh, yeah. loft a little bit yeah, of an expo little demo. explanation demonstration yeah, absolutely yeah and it, I can do it however when I start to add more loft in as a swing change, yeah. I do tend to find this feeling of flipping it here, yeah, yeah. getting a little more loft can also create a little bit of rotation with the forearms as well, and I can get okay. a little bit left and right with it. Such a good answer that with regards to actual finding a fault with someone and then characteristics of a player. Yeah. I think um, there's a lot to be said for that. You'll see that on tour all the time. You see some, um, some interesting swings yeah. <laughs> and they'll all have coaches yeah. and their coaches will be working with their swings and with their characteristics and understanding what is affecting their game in a negative way yeah. um, and what isn't. 
Okay, moving into driver then, the big stick, the one that lots of people like to know what is under that. The big dog, yeah. Under the hood of that. Yeah, so for me, uh, again, delivering, this is a 10 degree uh, TSI 2. Yes. Again, same shaft in the six. Stick. Okay, so again, waiting. Yeah, waiting. Side of things. Yeah, exactly right. A1 yeah. setting. Um, I, I just like the TSI 2s because they're a little higher spinning and a little more forgiving. And for me, they are. More forgiving is, is better, really. One thing I would say is that you you were 917 driver, yep. Titleist, um, and I thought you hit that really well. Yeah, I love you that were, driver, yeah. You were competing a bit more then. Yeah. Um, and I thought, yeah, I thought you were doing really, really nicely with that. And then you went into that Cobra driver, which was the... F9? F9. Yeah. Slightly different shaft. Yeah. And I thought you were, that's where you became a little inconsistent. Yeah, if I it was, compare yeah. that to now what, we've, what, what I've seen this week on the course vlogs. A little better. Much better. Even though I'm not playing much, yeah, it's much, been a much, bit better. Much, much yeah. better. Really, yeah. I, re I was very <clears throat> impressed with your driving of the ball this week because it's been, I think in the last couple of years, it's been a bit, yeah, a bit not, not your best part of the game. Yeah, a bit but, wayward, yeah. yeah. yeah and, absolutely. And, and, and seeing you pull out more fairway woods because of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, yeah, that does that will affect your game because obviously then you're coming in with longer clubs. Yeah. Um, so I, I do like this driver a lot. I've really really enjoyed using it, and again, I've only used it for a, for a little while. But considering I haven't played a lot, um, I'm, I'm really happy with the way I've drove the ball this week. Yeah. Last but most certainly <coughs> not least in the bag, because I know this is the part of the coaching that you absolutely love and and, and want to continue to keep developing your own skill set on it. Absolutely, and, and become, yeah. Always developing. become a well known coach of of, of putting. Yeah. Is what have you got in the flat stick? What's going on there? Yeah, um, we did a little video actually. We did. On this. Has it we did. been released? Maybe. No, it hasn't. I've Has still got released? to put that one out. Will yeah. be released. Um, it's the 11.5. It's the Phantom X Scotty Cameron 11.5, which I can it's imagine got... isn't overly popular in in comparison will... maybe to the 12 because it's swallowed up by it a little bit, isn't it? It it's probably was a little popular. bit. Yeah. So, but um, actually, let's have a quick look at what is the lie and what is the loft and everything else on that one then. Yeah. So it's uh, a degree strong. Uh, so I their quite, standard I, is, is three degrees. Yeah, I quite like to have, um, I don't like a forward press. Okay. Me personally, yeah. it doesn't mean that I wouldn't coach a forward press. I just, I feel more comfortable with neutral uh, neutral hands. Um, and I think that might be partly to do with the fact that I like everything to kind of be symmetrical. I use super stroke, yeah. fat as it can be, Okay. Um, two thumb. So I like my shoulders to be level. As much and as I like possible. everything to kind of be symmetrical. Yeah, That's just how I feel comfortable. That's how I feel like I can control Makes the club sense. face through the ball. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> There's a slight soft, soft toe soft hang, toe hang, which I liked. Um, just did a few, used a few putters on Sam, um, and just liked the feel of it more than anything. Yeah. To be to be honest, I got very very similar numbers out of the face balanced version um, i just like the the feel of this more when we did that video you in as soon as you picked it up you instantly liked that putter yeah i did yeah you know i yeah. was kind of shying away from it a little bit I yeah yeah like yeah, the look yeah. Of it, but yeah, you you, you like the 5.5 i did you? yeah 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 i really like the 5.5 which is a slightly smaller profile it's a similar sort of looking head yeah it's, it's got the neck. fang slightly different yeah neck. slightly different yeah, neck had yeah more toe hang yeah that's right yeah um uh, sorry, what was the actual length of that putter? What did you say that is? Yeah, this is a 33. 33. Yeah, so 33 it's slightly inch. shorter. It's the yeah. shorter of the, the standards. I've always gone for a slightly uh, shorter putter. I kind of like like to hold it right at the top. Yeah. Um, and just let my arms hang. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I've always gone for a, uh, a slightly shorter putter. Played around with a 33 and a half and yeah, just like, like the 33 in it. Um, and I've just really enjoyed using it. Again, I haven't used it that much yet. But what I have used of it, I've I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, that is a lovely looking golf bag that you have there, James. Yeah. And thank you very much for taking the time to um, to share it with us. Thank you very much. Hope everyone's enjoyed it. Now, like a lot of golf coaches that I work with, you'll always find that these guys will know their bag inside out. They know their game. But for James, what I find really interesting with that is he's not interested in finding a club that's going to work for him. He will happily move his golf game to suit that club, doesn't need to tinker or adjust it. He wants to work on his swing and get that right, which I fully understand from a coach's point of view. However, 
Loved his response when we talked about the characteristics of players. There's so many different golf swings out there, so many different ideas of getting a ball around a golf course. And I think actually when it comes to you at home working with your coach, I think those are really, really important questions that you have to ask your coach. You know, is this a characteristic of mine or is it something that we could change that would make me maybe a little bit better? I'd like to hear what you think about James's What's in the Bag. Put your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you again very soon.